How's it going, everybody? Lucian Sword here, playing some more Brawlhalla for you today, as always. What a surprise, right? Not really. I'll be playing Brawlhalla every day, but today we're going to do something I haven't done before. Well, kind of. So, a few videos ago, I did a video playing random until I lose challenge, and that video was kind of popular, and um, it was honestly pretty fun to do. So, we're basically going to do it again, except this time in strikeout. So the di only difference really is we're still going to be doing 1v1 and I'm still going to be doing random until I lose. But we're going to have three different random legends per match instead of just the one just to kind of spice it up a little bit. And uh, it looks like right off the bat we have Diana, Soulbound Diana. I don't even know who my other legends are and we won't know until I get into a match. But yeah, I hope you guys are all having a beautiful day wherever you guys might be. And if you like this kind of video or this kind of challenge, go ahead and let me know by dropping a like or commenting. All right, one of the cool things about Soulbound Diana is not only does she look amazing, her signature graphics are also incredible. So I actually, <laughs> I forgot to look at my legends. I, I think I saw Thor down there. I don't know who the other one is. Oh, okay, my taunts are not working, so I can't do any emotes. Sorry about that. Uh, Normally, they do work, but every now and then, it just doesn't work. Channeling my inner Skills WG blasters. Just kidding. Skills WG is so much better at blasters than me, but... I like to think I'm good enough to get the job done, basically. So, we might be getting a three stock here. This person doesn't seem like they're fully ready for this battle. Hey, look at that. It's a Diana versus Diana. Ooh, look at that signature. Oh, see what... All right, see her side signature on blasters here. Let me let me get the blasters. I'm just going to throw my bow away. Okay, my headphones just made a weird beeping sound. I just got some wireless headphones for uh, Christmas, and I've never had, like, wireless headphones before. <laughs> and I don't know why it, like, does a little weird beep every now and then. Okay, big baller, big disconnect. Um, but yeah, you saw that neutral sig. It, it puts out like a little book that then closes and like, I don't know. It's pretty cool. Then look at the side sig. So cool. And I love the sound that it makes too. The okay, let's calm down there, Orion bot. I love that sound. Again? Yep. All right. So first game is a three stock. At this rate, we might be looking at a very long video, which is kind of what I'm going for. But I'll be honest with you guys, um, my son is napping, and like when he wakes up, I'm gonna have to end the video, obviously. But uh, yeah, I mean, usually he'll nap for like an hour to two hours, so you know, we'll see how it goes. All right, next game we have Lucian, John Cena, and Thatch. Those are our three legends, if we even get to the three legends, right? All right, now we got Katars, which is totally different than Blasters and uh, Bow like we were using last game. So one of the things that I really like about picking random like this on Strikeout is you get to practice all the legends. And I know that's obvious, but it actually does make you a lot better of a player if you can play all the legends. Just because you, you can be better at fighting against them, not just using them, you know what I mean? At least that's what I like to think. This Sir Roland is actually good, but we should be okay. Almost got him there, and I got him there, but it did not kill. Oop, nice dodge. And one more side air, and he might be dead. Yep, all right. So this guy's definitely better than the last guy, uh, but can we three stock with Lucian? I'm pretty sure Lucian has very <laughs> nice bomb. I don't remember Lucian's stats, but I don't think he has a lot of defense. Maybe he has like four or five. Okay, bye bye Lucian. He's dead. It was fun while it lasted. All right, now we get to use John Cena, who's actually Hatori. It's like he's scared to attack me even when I'm unarmed. He just kind of was just waiting. All 
Oh no, he he totally countered my you can't see me move. Boom! Oh, I love hitting that neutral sig right when they're trying to get back to that wall. You know what I mean? If you can space it right, it's just, it's a really nice kill move. Oh. Should have picked up that weapon, Hattori. No, you can't see me. Okay, she sees me good. She does have that fox spirit thing going on, so maybe that's how she sees me. What a, whoa, what a dodge. Ooh, what a dodge on that weapon throw. I miss the days when weapon throws would actually like hit when you're that close, but no, they don't anymore. Her entire playstyle is revolved around trying to wait until I like miss and then trying to punish that. And um, so what I've been doing is trying to confuse her a little bit and delay like when I do attacks, try to like change it up basically. <laughs> what are you doing? She's like just held down that side heavy hoping I would just walk into it I guess I remember when that like used to mess me up and I'd be like oh gosh do I punish do I not do I punish and then I'd like try to punish and I would just get smacked by it but those were like the good old days when I was in gold or plat been uh been diamond 21 seasons so those kind of tricks don't work as well on me anymore but anyways another W and the video goes on this time we have Volkov one of my favorite legends so We'll see who I have for the second and third. I've never done this type of challenge before, so I'll be honest, I do not know how it's gonna go, but like typically in experimental 1v1, you get matches that are pretty, you know, pretty much, you're gonna fight people that are pretty close in skill to you somewhat. In Strikeout, it, it's supposed to be the same way. It does have a, a hidden MMR system or hidden ELO system. But not as many people. Oh, sorry, my taunts my taunts aren't working. Sorry, uh, but many people don't play strike out as much, so I feel like it's a little bit uh, of an unknown if you're gonna get like a person who's close in to skill or not as close. This guy's definitely pretty good with the hammer. I don't know why my down airs are not landing. Down sig, nope. Wow, I actually hit with that neutral sig. I wasn't really like sure if I was going to, but it worked, so cool. Not the easiest sig to hit, to be honest. If you, like a lot of people on site want to just farm for down airs, and that's fine, but I'm telling you, neutral airs, I hit so much more. Then down airs. Especially when they're falling or jumping like that. See what I mean? What really hurts people when you're using scythe is if you like never hardly do down airs. Because that's what they expect. Because that's what most people are be doing. You know what I mean? Alright. We're doing pretty good with Volkov here. Oh, he didn't get back. Looking like possibly a three stock, though I am in deep red, so. If it if it is a three stock, it's gonna have to be like I get a gimp right here. Ooh. Alright, we're damaging. We're damaging. Every little bit of damage helps. Oh, I thought for sure he was going to do an, a punish of a, a like a neutral sig, but man, if only I could hit that, that neutral sig.
Oh, he was facing the wrong way on that one. Oh boy, here we go. A three stock with Volkov? Yes. Wow. I actually did not think we would like get a three stock because he was pretty good. Like that's a decent player. Uh, well played though, dude. Well played. It. I feel like I don't know. Like her, the very first, like when the match began, she was doing pretty good, and then uh, slowly just kind of. I don't know. Anyways, we're on to the next match. Play till you lose challenge. Playing random until I lose challenge. And so far, we haven't lost. All right, going against March. I didn't even look at my characters, but I see I have Nimue, who's uh, epic crossover from Hellboy. For ah, oh, my taunts aren't working. That's so annoying. But yeah, uh, this is an epic crossover for Dusk. Core. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh man, feels bad. Feels bad. Feels bad. Oh, I should have done a side air. I could have continued that string. Ooh, here we go. I like the fast guitar strings. Oh, that should have grabbed. Are you kidding me? Oh, nice. Neutral air on guitars. But to be honest, I don't really like playing Dusk that much anyway, so... You kind of did, did me a favor there by taking out Dusk. I will get you with that down sig if it's the last thing I do. Yes! Told ya. That's actually a really hard move to hit, so... <laughs> Feels good when you hit it. I even expected him to do that, so... Oh, he saved me! Oh, not really. I expected him to do the side sig, and I was trying to avoid it, and I still got hit. All right, guys. We got... Mordex. As Tai Lung. This is the closest we've ever been to losing so far in this video. But, I don't intend to lose. GG. A little bit predictable going for that weapon, man. Especially when you knew I had a bomb in my hands. Anyways, GG, uh, March, you actually had a great uh, run there. Almost took us out. Almost ended the video. But, uh, we keep going. Alright, we got Michonne. This is a Koji epic crossover from The Walking Dead. Has some really cool... Uh, signature graphics. Sorry about the screen flash. I was wondering if that was gonna happen. If you've watched any of my recent videos, uh, it's happened <laughs> pretty much every single video. And it's been happening ever since I upgraded to Windows 11. My screen flashes every now and then when I'm recording. Sorry about that. I'm still looking into how to fix it. I know some of you said to just roll back Windows 11 back to Windows 10. But I don't want to. I want to I wanna keep Windows 11. I like it. I just don't want my screen to flash. And I'm looking for a more, I don't know, long-term answer. Because rolling it back is not really what I want to do. You know, Windows 11 ain't going to go away. You know, eventually everybody will be on it. Um, so, I'm kind of just waiting until they fix it. Or I find a fix. Either way. If you're going to say just out of reach, I have a move for that. Shoop. I love that move too. The down sig looks so cool. What you got to do, Ada? Take it. That's what I thought. What are you doing? I'm over here. Oh, now I'm over there. You survived, but at what cost? Ooh. <laughs> Whoa. Do it again, do it again. 
Ah. Oh. No, Koji. I mean, Michonne. Oh, we got Diamond Head. All right, Diamond Head's actually one of my favorite legends, so. We're going to do just fine with Diamond Head. I love the Katars especially. I love all I love all of Diamond Head's moves. They are so fun. And Diamond Head is another epic crossover, but from, uh, hmm, what game is this from? I don't even remember. Is it Steven Universe or Ben 10? Ha! <laughs> Look at that. Oh my goodness. GG dude, GG. Diamond, Diamond Head. Caspian just has such fun signatures, dude. So fun. I know some people complain Caspian has like signatures that are just annoying or whatever, but I think they're fun. And honestly, instead of hating on a weapon or hating on a signature, why don't you try playing that that legend or and using that signature? You see for yourself that it's actually fun to use. All right, we're going against March again. This is the guy that almost beat us last time, so uh, my taunts aren't working. Sorry about that, dude. I feel bad that, like, normally I'm always taunting and, like, not taunt. I shouldn't say taunting, but it's just an emo at the beginning of the game to say, like, good luck, have fun, basically. And I can't do it. Uh-oh. Bro, his spacing is incredible. Come and get it if you want it. Man, he's doing good. Oh. Uh oh, I would love to keep Chun Li because she's a good legend and he got me anyways. Okay. Ooh, Sir Roland is really good too, though. I'm not scared of Sentinel when I have Sir Roland. Bro. Finally knock that hammer out of your hands, Sentinel. Bro, he is so good at dodging the uh, side sick. Stay down. Yeah, get out of here. Ooh, he's got another super good legend, Kaya. Maybe I'll try the Lance, see how we do with that. Oh man, I thought he was gonna do a neutral sig and the side sig. All right. We are on our final stock. Is March going to get his redemption? Or is the streak going to continue? Well, I'm going to give him a run for his money at the very least. Get out of here, Kaya. How much damage can you take, huh? You get back on stage, but at what cost? Get out of here. Let's go. Can I get another comeback on March? Anything is possible. Oh my gosh. I can't see. Are you kidding me? Not right now. Not during my MOS epic of comeback. Okay, I can see now. I just got wrecked. <laughs> Terrible timing though on that. I may have, <laughs> oh man. I may have been able to win that. Oh well. Uh, GG March, GG. That was another great video. I think I got a lot more wins in this one than I did in the last one, but I don't really remember. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed as always. I hope to see you in the next video. This is Lucian Sword. Take it easy, friends.